Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I'm going to do a, a share today of some sweet little lilac journals in um, these um, fabric drawstring chintz pouches that I made. Um, each one of these sweet little journals comes in these little drawstring pouches and let me just pull them each out okay now these were both done with the these are quite small um the lilac stampede stamperia lilac collection and then also um a kit uh from shabby dabby doodah so let's just get started um let's do this one first uh, let me tell you what these measure. They're exactly the same size, both of them. Okay, and these are a soft bound, uh, soft bound uh, front and spine. Okay, this is six, six and three quarters by five, and it has a, a one and a half inch spine. I'm pretty sure these are exactly the same size. Six and three quarters and one and a half, a little bit larger than one and a half. And there are three signatures. Now what I've done with this is um, I fussy cut this beautiful uh, lilac out and I did some glossy accents on the top. Um, the cover is made from cardstock and uh, craft text so it's a heavy pretty you know substantial cover and then this is just a lace enclosure a nice big um, lavender or lilac I guess you could say lavender lace tie um, these are all uh, I set all of these crystals I'm not sure if you can see those and these are real uh, Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. Every these are all real. There's no faux crystals on here. Um, so that's on the cover, and then there's also a faux stick pin that I made, also with these beautiful crystals. So let's go in. These will be in my Etsy shop tomorrow. And uh, they'll be a reasonable, a very reasonable price. Um, okay, and they do come with a drawstring bag. They come together. Uh, we have an inside front pocket, and uh, I've got this pretty um, journaling tag here that was part of the paper collection. And what I did is around the sides and a couple of these tags is I, I did a, a wet heat embossing, and that's like a lavender color embossing powder so that's in the front cover pocket and then there's two pretty tags okay and this has a pearl trim um brad in it and these are just some fibers uh, i've got a acetate pocket here and um a journaling card here and this is from the scrappy uh or shabby dabby doodah rather um one of her paper collections and it's it's lilac lilac something um i'll list that below and then i have a tag here and that's from the beautiful stamperia paper collection got a pocket in here a large die cut tag and um also this smaller tag with another one of those pearl uh, brads um, there is some paper in here from the graphics fairy that I printed off and there is some vintage book pages in here. I also did some stamping with some watercolor. Okay, so there's a variety of different papers in here. There's a little washi. Uh, this one has a little bit of stamping or stenciling in it, not a lot. The other one has a little bit more stenciling. Um, I left these strings long. I'll probably come back and just tie them in a bow. So this is the middle of the first signature. Some more pretty papers, some music paper. 
um, some paper from the one of the uh, the um, kit shabby dabby doo dot kit. Here's some st uh, stenciling or stamping, and then some washi old children's book page. Uh, we've got a large tag here in this pocket. The pockets are all sewn. The book has been sewn around all the way around it. And as you can see, there is some lavender lace trim on the top and the bottom of the book. A lot, another large uh, tag here. Um, this is the second signature. We've got a little pocket here with some ephemera in a tag. And uh, we've got another large journaling uh, tag here. And um, not sure if the, the camera's picking it up, but I also did some of that wet embossing around the corners. And then a fabric tab or a fabric pocket here with two pieces of ephemera that you can write on. We've got a vellum pocket here and a die cut journaling card right here actually i kind of had that this way but it doesn't matter so there's a lot of room to write in here here's some watercolor stamping here um got some vellum music paper old book page uh embossing up here stamp with a stamp and uh, lavender embossing powder. Uh, I've got some watercolor stamping here. This is simply a card stock, very large tag here, and I just did a lavender paper clip, and it's just clipped to the page. So I'm just going to quickly go through this because I wanted to show you the other one. It is similar papers, uh, but the tags and whatnot are different uh we've got a little fabric pocket here with this sweet little piece of ephemera and we've got a large tag here or journaling card really you know tag or journaling card whatever you want to call it very pretty paper i enjoyed work working with it I have a belly band here and then an envelope with a, um, it's, there's nothing in it, an envelope with a fussy cut butterfly. So you could gift that, you know, put a note in it and gift that to somebody or just store, I store things in it. So another journaling tag here. I guess this should go this way. See how sweet this paper is? It's just beautiful. Okay, papers, a little bit of stamping here, or oh, children's book page, some vel printed vellum, a uh, ledger. Uh, I've got a envelope here that I made a center pocket. I did a little stamping. It's sewn around, and in here, let me see, I've got something something tucked in here oh yeah each side i did a nice large and this is from the graphics fairy um one of their images i print that out uh there's one of those in each side here so that's in each of the envelopes and then i did do some tucks uh on the inside of the envelope with more um journaling area. This is actually a little uh, envelope with a little postcard in it, and this was from the Scrabby or Shabby Dabby Doodah um, paper, digitals. This is coffee uh, tea stain paper in here. This image here is from that uh, shabby dabby doodah kit so is this one a pocket sewn pocket here and then the back has um an acetate pocket again with two pretty tags and then we've got a bookmark here and another large journaling tag here 
in this um, pocket. The pocket has some lace and some decorative stitching. So that's this one. And this one, um, oops, this one I gotta glue in a little bit. Actually, I might just pop that like that and you can glue it in if you want or you can use it somewhere in your book or even put it on the outside of your, um, your fabric bag. So, okay, so this one is the pearls. It does also have uh, quite a few crystal embellishments on it and I did the same thing. I don't know if you can see the glossy accent uh, build up there. And then there's pearls here and on the spine are three floral or flowers that have pearls in the middle. And this one has a um, velvet tie with two metal grommets. So this is a velvet tie, gray. And there is some gray in this one, which I didn't do with the other one. Um, I had dyed the craft text that's on the inside. Uh, also, we have a pocket here, and we have a journaling card die cut, and three pieces, or you know, a journaling card and two two little tickets. Now, I did my double pocket thing that I like to do, and I've been kind of digging these, um, where I do a decorative stitching in the middle. Then you have two pockets, uh, and then these I just pop in tags and. These have those pretty pearl brads, and they kind of just hook on the end of the page. Uh, there's some stenciling in here throughout, and I also rounded the corners of this book. The other one does not have the rounded corners. So there's this, the same variety of type pages in here, the vellum. Uh, here's a large bookmark that I just kind of put. You can journal on it or just use it as a bookmark, and that's just sitting in here, and it's got something that velvet ribbon. Uh, this is a small pocket here with uh, a large journaling tag and a smaller journaling tag. And the same thing on this side. If you like lilacs and lavender and shades of purples and things like that, you will love this book. It's got some old uh, dictionary, or not dictionary, encyclopedia paper some um, ledger paper. Another one of those double pockets with these sweet little tags just tucked right in there. There's one in each side from the that paper collection, the Stamperia. Uh, this, this paper right here is from the um, Shabby Dabby Doodah kit. And we've got a double pocket here with a large uh, tag here and uh, a little postcard or, you know, medium-sized postcard there. And this cute little, these two pieces of ephemera, little postcard, mini postcard. And that, these three pieces came from the uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah. Right here we have some stenciling, some on this side, and a ledger paper. And you can see I did round the corners. A variety of pages. This is actually uh, just the front page is empty. There is nothing on it of an old um, 1800s books, book that I had. And it's such a beautiful paper. It's got a great finish. It's very silky and it's heavy. Uh, we've got some uh, uh, oh, vellum, printed vellum. Got some, this is coffee dye in this book. Uh, right here we have a pocket with three um, journaling areas here, a little ephemera. And this uh, is actually an envelope, okay? And what I did is, again, I've got the pocket at the top. You can see some stenciling here and uh, got some a couple of tags or journaling pieces that you can you can uh, journal on right in there this I think just it flips up it's like a yeah uh, like a bookmark that flips or tag and that's just right in there 
and a pocket on this side as well. So we got a lot of pockets and tuck spots and a lot of um, ephemera in the books. Some vintage style paper. I try to put a variety of different papers in all my books. Um, some stenciling here. Uh, another pocket here uh, with, you know, more of that great ephemera from the Shabby Dabby Doodah kit. I thought the two papers uh, lines kind of, well, her digital kit went well, actually, with this um, this lavender, this lilac uh, stamperia. I've got a large tag here sewn around with some... Um, uh, velvet trim. Old children's book page. This one's got poems on it. Uh, we've got a um, decorative paper clip here. Um, uh, and I just clipped another one of those uh, large, you know, it's a full paper size uh, tag here. It's on cardstock. It's been printed on cardstock. So that's just clip with a paper clip to that and then we've got another one of my envelopes that I make into pockets and I did put some uh, ephemera in there and on this side um, I have one of those uh, paper or one of those envelopes that is in the last one and I actually just put it over the edge and I've got a mini Tim Holtz clip on it so this is printed vellum some stenciling plenty of paper to write on to journal on and then the back pocket there's a large die cut tag and a tag with some of that um, velvet well that's not the back pocket here's the back pocket um, same thing and whoops little piece of ephemera down in there okay guys so those are um my two new journals that come in these little sweet uh drawstring bags okay i hope you enjoyed this flip through thanks for watching please hit subscribe and like i appreciate it Bye bye